I was officially diagnosed with clinical depression, um, social anxiety disorder, OCD, um, and agoraphobia. I couldn't even get up out of bed in the morning. I wouldn't sleep at night. I'd get very heavily depressed. Um, I'd harm myself. I'd just do any drugs I could get my hands on. I wasn't able to have a ceiling fan on in the room. I wasn't able to listen to a single drop of water. I was eating off of paper plates in my bedroom. Connor went from uh, having difficulty uh, getting what was up here out. We get very, very frustrated. Although I was receiving help, I wasn't receiving the kind of help I needed. Before ISIS, I was sleeping in bed all day long panicking, worrying, depressed, being pushed to take medications. I used it for traumatic brain injury patients. I used it for patients with anxiety, patients with depression. Chronic pain, post-traumatic stress, post-traumatic brain injury, OCD. We also treat a lot for peak performance. I became an ISIS neurofeedback provider in hopes to help my own son who suffered pretty greatly with severe OCD. Language issues, sleep issues, opioids, crack, cocaine, alcohol, tobacco, people that have issues with food. When you stop and think about it, it's not that hard to understand. We're talking about a treatment to the brain. The brain controls everything. I woke up the next morning feeling like I needed to get up to go run, like I needed to get up, go to the gym, like I needed to do something. The veil has lifted, the shroud that just weighed me down is gone. After his first session, he actually had a conversation without pauses, heavy breathing. When they go through our treatment with the ISS and neurofeedback treatment, we see substantial improvement in, our, in terms of reduction of their uh, TBS symptom and PTSD symptoms. I will never forget the day that I received the email from uh, Dr. Huang saying that the uh, VA merit study was approved. We aren't just helping people. We don't just have image-based evidence that it works. The symptoms get better because the condition that's causing the symptoms is being treated. I couldn't even believe that I was myself again. I would be so bold as to say that it almost eliminated my social anxiety. I can function like a normal person um, for the first time in my life. It's so easily tolerated and so non-invasive. So a client or a patient comes in. He usually just asks you to take a deep breath, close your eyes, and maybe for about 15 to 20 minutes. I didn't feel anything at all. Afterwards, I did, and I felt relief. I don't actually feel anything at all. You feel yourself relaxing. It's amazing to see somebody who comes in with an anxiety of 8 to 10, and within just a short time, I have them down to a 2. It was invigorating to me. It's calming down fight or flight. So the homocysteine, cortisol, adrenaline, neuroepinephrine is coming down, allowing auto neuro regulation. Started up twice a week. After a patient is on two, maybe three months of this therapy, they no longer need it? Probably once a week, too. I don't know that we need it that often, but I figured let's just keep a good thing going. We don't do this as often, nearly as often as I used to, and I don't see the effects diminishing at all. Once a month, maybe every six weeks. No, this is the only thing I do for treatment. I want to see these people live long lives and go out and be productive and feel good. I'm, I'm calm, I'm poised. I, I can't imagine ever doing that before before my experiences with ISIS. You need to do this. You will get better. This thing makes a difference. If it wasn't for ISIS, I wouldn't be alive. I'd be breathing, but I wouldn't be alive. Yeah, this is a lifesaver. It works. It's the real deal. It's effective. It's affordable. These ISIS neurofeedback treatments have made such a dramatic difference. It changed my life. It changed my life completely. I'm changing the lives of many families. You, you want to hold on to hope and there's nothing there, but when, when it is there and you have a choice, take it.